Hello and welcome. My name is Biagio Mazza. I'm pastoral associate, St. Sabina's Parish in Belton, Missouri. And welcome to the Do You Know series. Today we are going to focus on the question of the origins of the Stations of the Cross, a significant celebratory event that occurs during the season of Lent in most Catholic churches. Um, the origins of the Stations of the Cross actually go back to uh, at least the first time that we see references to them is from a diary that was dis uh, discovered in the late 1800s uh, uh, that went back all the way to the year roughly 360, 370 by a woman called Egeria who was traveled to the Holy Land and left a diary. And she spoke about during the week before uh, Easter how the people there would actually gather at the various sites that uh, Jesus traveled uh, during that final week in Jerusalem and actually commemorate and celebrate and recall the various events that occurred in those places as uh, it led to ultimately the passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus. So we have reference to that uh, from Nigeria as early as the, the, the fourth century. Uh, when people used to take pilgrimages to the Holy Land, uh, they would try to spend devotional time on walking the path that Jesus traveled to his passion, death, and resurrection. Uh, and so it became a common devotional practice, and it the, uh, the, uh, was enhanced during the Crusades in the 10th and 11th and 12th century when access to the Holy Land was made uh, more uh, easily uh, was easily done. However, with the Muslim taking over the land from the Crusades, uh, uh, travel to the uh, sites was no longer as safe as it was before, and yet many people were attracted to that devotion and wanted to continue to do that devotion even though they didn't have access to the Holy Land. So one of the things that was begun as an experiment and then became an institution in the church was to bring the actual stations uh, from the Holy Land to uh, the, the West by uh, setting up outside uh, walking stations, uh, places where you stop and reflected on the various, uh, uh, various events that occurred scripturally uh, on the path that Jesus took from the time he was condemned to death by Pilate all the way to his crucifixion and burial. And so originally the stations were set outside uh, churches and people would traverse from one place to the other, stop and meditate on the various events and then move on to the other station. Um, stations were places where you stop to reflect and to meditate. Um, Soon uh, the devotion became so popular that around the, 18, the, 17, uh, the 18th century in the 1700s, uh, the stations were permitted to come inside the church and they were set up inside churches where people could uh, do the devotions um, uh, inside the actual church itself. Now in terms of the stations, uh, the, the numbers of them range for a good bit uh, over the centuries from as few as five to as many as 20, trying to uh, bring in more events from the biblical um, accounts of the passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus. And so uh, finally, uh, Clement, uh, Pope Clement XII uh, actually fi uh, fixed the number to 14, beginning, as we said, with the uh, condemnation of Jesus by Pilate, all the way to Jesus' burial. And so, uh, uh, the, in most of the stations today in Doha, you will see the 14 stations there. Uh, uh, some people today have even included uh, a 15th station uh, celebrating the resurrection of Jesus as the final culminating point of the Jesus' passion and death that ultimately ended up with his resurrection. Uh, and so, it has become a very popular devotion, especially during the Lenten season, and as, we, as you go to that devotion, try to recall the origins of it as we've explained it and try to build up your own devotion to the passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus during this Lenten season. 
So I hope this has helped to explore the origins of the stations and uh, uh, try to understand in the context of history and why they still continue to be a lived tradition and lived devotion for us in our church. Thank you very much.